Hi, Jeff Cote here with Pacific Yacht Systems. What we're going to talk about next is sounders. Ultimately, probably one of the most important things beside a VHF radio on your boat is knowing the depth under your boat. So at its most essential, that's what a sounder or a transducer does for your boat. It needs to be interconnected to either an instrument that converts that data and actually shows you a number that makes sense, or it could be a display or an MFD that has a built-in transducer sounder box inside that can translate directly and take a transducer directly plugged into the back of the display. There's so much innovation happening on the sounder field right now. There's sounders that look directly down. There's now sounders that actually start, fish finders have been out for at least 20 years, even longer. Um, you've got now sounders that are looking on the side of the boat. You've got sounders, you've got chirp. You've got sounders now that look forward on the boat. We're tackling a project on a sailboat in about a month where the owner is putting a sounder looking forward. So there's a lot of different choices with transducers and sounders. As a boater, you've got to make a decision. Am I only looking for depth as a number? Would I like to see a bottom profile, which I think there's merits, even if you're not a fish into fishing, you could actually have a bottom profile for anchoring, knowing what does the bottom of the ocean look like. So that's really nice. And then also side view, if you're anchoring in really technical places, do you want to see a little bit what's on either side of you? Or even, even more is looking forward of you. Um, the nice thing about sounders now is they come in different frequencies, so you can actually have, and I've done that on a lot of boats that are going further afield and where depth is really important, we'll have one transducer at one frequency and another transducer in a different frequency, and they can both operate concurrently, and so you can have actually backup systems. Here I've got an example of a transducer that is a through-haul. You've got transducers that are in-haul, meaning there's no hole in the bottom of the boat. You've got transducers that are actually they go in and out. You can take them out for servicing without having to have them rebedded. Re there is honestly on some websites a hundred different transducers that are available from multiple manufacturers. So there's a lot of choice out there, a lot of different price points in terms of wattage, you know, how deep you want to see, how fast you're going to be going, where you're going to be going through. There's some fairing block options, right? If this transducer is out of the hall. If you've got any further questions or you're kind of wondering what's the best transducer for my boat and what I intend to do, feel free to reach out to Pacific Yacht Systems and let us know how we can be of assistance. Thanks.